having opportunities to get swept, splitting the first two games, trying to win the rubber game. There's going to be times during the long season where you're pitching really well, not hitting, hitting really well, not pitching. We're in one of those positions right now that we have an opportunity to get swept, and we're not hitting, and we're not pitching. So the beauty of all the stuff you go through over the course of the season is none of it ever lasts that long. So it's just a matter of time until we come out of it, and hopefully it's tomorrow. Do you feel at all like, especially today, as the team in the other dugout knows what the stakes are for them right now and sort of playing to stay alive? I don't think so. I think that's a, that's a program that played in the College World Series four straight years. And when May 1st rolls around, that's when that experience shows up. You know, that this is when we have to play. Uh, I don't know if it's as much the position they're in right now as the position they put their program in the last you know, six or seven years. Yeah, that happen. Yeah, it's just to get. You get late season winning in your blood, smell the postseason. It's hard to get out of your blood. I think that's what they're doing right now. They've got, they've got really good experience at a really high level. And sure enough, By that token, is that something your team is trying to do? One postseason appearance very narrowly missed a couple others, trying to get to that level? Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's what you're always trying to do, you know. Uh, but it takes time to get there, of course. You know, but, but I feel like our guys are, I'm not worried about our team at all, our resiliency. You know, we've been punched in the gut twice here the first two days. But, uh, Cade Stroud will pitch tomorrow. He's been uh, playing with the house's money his last three times out. He's pitched with an opportunity to sweep the other team. Now he's pitching with an opportunity for us to get swept. And the last time he was in that situation, uh, last two times at Oregon State, uh, he shut them up when we had a chance to get swept on Sunday. And at Baylor, when we had a chance to get swept, and he really pitched well. So I've got all the faith in the world to help him out and, and give us a good chance to win. And how hard is it to make up for that bat? Uh, pretty difficult, you know. It's you know, you look at batting average is the biggest confidence killer in the world for a kid. And those poor kids have to step in the batter's box and see their batting average up on the scoreboard. You know, we've we just been trying to find that piece the whole season. You know, we just haven't found it. Yet. So we gotta keep trying, 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 until it all comes back. What you talk about? Being in, having the opportunity to be in those different situations. This is a situation you haven't been in in the past couple weekends, but talking about the resiliency of your team, is that what you told them after this game? Just, you know, keep doing what you're doing and now tomorrow avoid the opportunity for this week? Yeah, that's what uh, older, more experienced teams are for. We don't panic in this situation. Uh, I don't believe they panic. I think we'll get a good night's sleep and come out here play a good game for me just because I know the makeup of the guys in the locker room. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see, but yeah, I've got all the faith in the world. Who are the players on your team you're kind of depending on to reinforce that message? You know, the older guys, Darius and Pudge, AK, and, you know, Stroud, he can he can really deliver that message by the way he attacks the game to them, so. These guys have been in the program a long time. They've been in this position before, so they're not going to they're not going to put too much pressure on themselves. They're just going to come out and play. Silver so lining, I guess you have, should have every arm available to some guys hate some <laughs> Yeah, I like you silver lining people. <laughs> <laughs> Wish there was more of you guys around. But uh, yeah, I mean, we still go we have you, Sam Kessler, at all, or Zach Reed, two of our better bullpen guys. Zach Ottinger hadn't pitched yet, but you know that we went into the series trying to get into their bullpen because they had bullpen issues too. And we haven't been able to do that, so uh, we we need to see some guys out there. Thank you.